No, it's been at least 10 years since the last time I went to the dentist and you took me. Yeah. Today, me and Chris are going to the dentist. It's an appointment I set up before Jerry decided to visit. So while I'm at the dentist, Jerry's just going to hang out at my house. You really? It's been 10 years since you've been to the dentist? Yeah. It's crazy. It's nothing I'm proud about. It's just... And you got to find a place that's able to, to handle your side. Right. And them are few and far between. I'm nervous, but excited, too, because people will stop teasing me about not having the front tubes. Having a boyfriend does help motivate me. I have to look my best. I try to. It's all about confidence boosting. It's because missing my tooth makes me feel sad. You know, there was a whole lot of temptation coming up through here. Oh, no, I know. Right there on the corner is a damn donut shop. I know. The fresh ones? Stop. <laughs> but I mean, it's really just not worth it. Yeah. As far as my diet. You ain't been doing nothing. Well, I mean, no, not really, but it, uh, I have cut back on my portions. Tammy, there ain't no, 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 really. I know for a fact you've been doing bad on it because Amanda said she'd come visit you the other day and you had a 32 ounce milkshake. What part of our diet is the damn milkshake? Cause it's not. I haven't been to the dentist in about 10 years because, well, for my weight and mobility. And then because of my weight and my mobility, I kept beginning sick. It just come one of the last priorities. So I really don't know how bad my teeth are. Hi, welcome. Hello. Hello. Can I get a name? Tammy Slayton. All right, we've got you there. If you want to take a seat, someone will be out to get you soon. Yeah. How are you guys doing today? Yeah. Good. I have to walk through. Keep on going. You're good. Tammy has to get up and be more physical. So when I see opportunity for something like that, I try to motivate her and push her to her limits. That way she gets in as much exercise as possible. Hello, Tammy, how are you? I'm Dr. Adam, nice to meet you. Tell me, what are you wanting help with? I have a couple of missing teeth and I think they need cleaned. It's been about 10 years since I've been to the dentist. Okay, and before you, you there's no reason to feel embarrassed about that. Um, you know, let me ask you this, are you having pain anywhere? Not really. Okay, how often do you brush? I try to at least twice a week. Okay. I should be doing it every day, but... Oh, yeah. Well, and to be honest, we should be doing it twice every day. So, yeah. so we're going to work on that. No pressure, no judgment, anything. We're just going to say, you know what? We're trying to get things on, on a better track, okay? Yeah. So let's get into it, and let's just take a look. Why don't we get you situated back here, lean back here, and I can help you however we need. If I need to help, is that here? Hold on, we might be blocked in here a little bit. Make sure that's nice and tight. And there we go, so it won't rotate on you. There you go. Are you comfortable there? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put just your headrest so that your head's in a, in a better position there. Okay, how is that right there? Okay. Is that okay? Do you feel stable and comfortable? Great. 
In my 11 years as a dentist, I can't say that I've had a lot of bariatric patients that are dealing with the kind of, sort of things Tammy's dealing with. Uh, we have checked out the specifications of the chairs to make sure that everything is safe and stable for her, but also that we can accommodate the things that we need to do without compromising things. All right, Tammy, so where are we going to start with? I'm going to have you just smile for me. Okay. Uh, we definitely are due for a cleaning. So you basically have two front teeth missing that we're looking at replacing, I would assume. When I was in third grade, I tripped and I hit the edge of the lunch table and then I hit the floor. Bust out three teeth, chop one up into my gums. So it's been like 25 years since I had a front tooth. It's one of the multiple reasons for my weight. A lot of people have to be rude and point it out. I was depressed for a while, and I found comfort in food. The good news is this, Tammy. For it being 10 years and brushing, you know, twice a week, you have a lot of buildup, but your teeth are in decent shape. So we're starting off with a good foundation, hopefully. I would like to start off with a temporary option, kind of be like a retainer, but would give you that tooth that matches the color and shape of everything and fits in that space to have in the meantime while we make the other one, okay? The next step is gonna be taking some impressions and to get the shape of your teeth so we can have those things made. Are you ready for that? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, we here. Put your head just right that. Okay, let's take this out. There you go. My time at the doctor's office was great. They treated me as a human, and they looked past my weight and made me feel welcome. I can't wait to go back and get my new tape. So when it comes to everything we did today, do you have any questions? I am on a weight loss journey. Is that going to affect the eating process? Sure. No. You know, what you, what you would notice is when we lose weight, a lot of times if we lose weight around the head and neck area and in the jaw area, you might find that you have a little bit easier access um, to get back to the back portion of your teeth and clean your teeth and things like that. But overall, you do everything the same. You, you know, as you lose the weight, we want you to just continue to brush your teeth two times a day <laughs> and try to get in to see me, you know, twice a year, okay? Getting my teeth fixed makes me feel that I'm heading in the right direction. Not only am I trying to lose weight and make my body look better, I'm trying to improve this, just fix it all. <laughs> well, come on, let's dance out here. 